Hello, and today I will be teaching you how to make an animation in Source Filmmaker. A simple one at that. Just start off with the bouncing ball. This is one of the simplest animations somebody can do other than just moving something in the software. And this is a good place to start because it teaches you fundamentals on how to use the graph. This will teach you how to move the object and to use the graph editor in the correct manner. All right, so let's start off with selecting the bouncing ball in itself. If you select the bouncing ball, go down to root transform. This is how you control just the ball. The root transform controls the whole object. So you can move the object like this by holding, by clicking on the circle, and this dictates the axes on which it moves, the X, Y, and Z, and then you can rotate it on each of these. And that is how you will move it. And so down here you have your playhead, and this is how you move you move it to dictate which time you want things to happen. So if I want the ball to move here by half a second, I would do that. And you move it like that. So you move your playhead here, and then you would move the ball here wherever you want it to go. Let's say we want it to go across, so it just moves. So then it moves across the screen in half a second. So Let's say we want it to, you know, bounce. So we'll move it down there, move our playhead, move it to the next position, move our playhead, next position, move the playhead, next position, move the playhead, ne next position. And here we have a very crude bouncing ball at that but it does bounce. As you can see, it is very curvy. So whenever a ball hits the ground, it is sharp. Instead of curvy, it doesn't curve across the ground. It curves in the air. And so the graph editor is how you would change these effects. So you have, down here you can see you have spline, stepped, linear, and curve fit. This is curve fit. All of these keys, these little things are keys, and this, um, they're all curve fit. And so we need to change the point of contact to the ground to linear, which is just a straight line. So it'll look like an arrow instead of a curve. And so you select the key, and then you'll click this, which will change it to a linear instead of curved. And so now you can see that it's, it, um, it, it's not a curve anymore. So it'll not curve, so it actually bounces, it bounces instead of curves. So it looks a little more realistic. And so we'll go to the next point, click on that, change it to linear. Now we have a more realistic bouncing ball. But it still looks funny because it is not timed right. I only went every half a second is where the command ends to move the ball. And so what we can do is we can move these around to make it a little bit more realistic and make this look a little bit better because nothing on in real life nothing moves in slow motion completely so let's mess with this for a little bit so you just you have to tinker if you if you um, actually try to do this you would want to tinker around with it it takes a little bit to find the right way to bounce it but that looks a little bit better already so as long as you tinker around with it it takes time but you know that's a simple bouncing ball animation for anybody who wants to start working with animation, the software I use is Source Filmmaker, which can be downloaded on Steam, which is free. It's a free software, so it's very good to start out with. And so this is just a simple animation that you can start with. Thank you. And hopefully this tutorial or how-to was helpful.